Over the last 40 years, we've had an economic model which wasn't really working for everybody. We recognised from the great financial crisis that Britain was highly unbalanced. It was heavily skewed towards financial services and the southeast of the United Kingdom. There were very wide regional disparities in income and outcomes. I think the Brexit vote was a little bit of a wake-up call. Theresa May put forward the notion that we need to start thinking again about industrial strategy. And we had the white paper outlining the future course of industrial strategy over the next 10 years. For a long time, industrial strategy was a dirty word in policy circles. It often was associated with state bailouts of lame duck firms and the state picking winners rather than leaving it to the market. But things have changed. Modern industrial strategy is about creating really good stables from which winners can emerge. A big part of my work is around place-based industrial strategy. A place-based industrial strategy is all about identifying a region's existing capabilities and expertise and tailor policy to enable regions to fulfil their potential. We work a lot with the stake on trend ceramics industry and critically they're utilising ceramic technologies in related fields. So you'll see that ceramic technology is being used in anything from bio inserts to drug delivery systems to mobile phone transmitters. This is an example of how a traditional industry can adapt and can compete and grow again in a global economy. It's a very exciting time for our research because for many years we we're often at the margins of debate but now we seem to be in the mainstream and since the general election there's been a lot of talk about levelling up and inclusive growth and what that means and how that can be best achieved. We're best placed in Bath to try and shape that debate. Our research and in our recent book, we brought together some of the world's leading experts on innovation policy and on regional policy to explore how smart specialisation could be utilised to help lagging regions. What tends to work well is where regions have got good institutions, good governance, a good set of leaders in the local community, a lot of collaboration between firms, where you've got good networks, good business networks, good social networks. These sort of ingredients can really create a new dynamic within a region and can help a region to grow.